I just saw me in the and said, just briefly for those who didn't you know, I was on the reality program which um, you go in and you pick your stuff against the dragon. And um, if you're good enough, if you decide that you want to put yourself up for ridicule and get laughed at and maybe even get kicked out of the dragon den, then yeah, dragon den is for you. I've never seen the dragon den before. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a soap opera when they first asked me about it. But then um, I decided to try it. And um, as you know, what's happening with the regular reggae sauce right now, it's become the most famous product that's ever been on the show. Levi Rose is the most popular <laughs> person that's ever been on Dragon Day. And it just comes from nowhere. I mean, I didn't, I didn't even know, I didn't even think I was going to get investment at all. I thought that maybe if I go on the show, I'm going to go and sing a silly song and I'll probably lose and come off what my thoughts is just showing on TV. And that's all I was hoping for. I, I didn't really look as far as, as though, you know, it was possible to see me as a winning the entrance. But I know those dragons had it in for me. But you know what? I thought I had to have some kind of extra weapon in my armory to play the dragon. And what did I do? I wrote a song about the song. Now, I've been in music for 30 years. And I never had this kind of success <laughs> with all the songs that I've sung. Um, I've done a lot of reggae music throughout my life, and I find that now writing a song about the bloody talk is going to be a good thing. It's funny how life is, you know, but you have to take life as it comes. But I found that I had to give up my beloved music in order to get the source to you and to get the source to everybody. Because, as you know, in business, I mean, working in the same business, you should know that you have to go full work if you want to get along in business. You can't go and have your foot in one pot and have your foot in the other and expect to be successful. You can't. I don't think Reggae Reggae Source would have been successful if I was a, a singer over here and then I'm going to be a source man there. It, it wouldn't have worked. Because, I mean, even now I'd probably be on tour somewhere or something like that. But I'm here with you guys. I don't know which one to To me, any sort of France fabulous is somewhere on tour out here. But hey, you know, being here is just the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I just don't know why the people are taking to me. Is it because I made some of the bloody mistakes on the program? <laughs> I always say it's a bit like the Heavy Behavior Syndrome, you know, because um, if you remember Heavy Behavior became very loved for making mistakes at the Olympics. And I got, you know, loved for um, taking loads of bucket loads of dragon bed and making a hash of my figures. But I, sometimes I, I tend to want to say that, you know, that the hash of making that figure was actually um, intentional. Because when I said 15 million, <laughs> could be made with my regular reggae thought. It was laughable at the time, but I can tell you, when I went to Wales, where I'm now producing regular reggae thought, you know, in bucket loads, the same thing. When I went there a week before last and I actually pressed the button, you know, the magic button that for the for the first hundred and fifty thousand bottles of regular reggae thought to come off the conveyor belt. It was a, a little bit of tear kind of came to my eye, you know, because I just thought, you know, something that I did in my kitchen with my kids and, you know, the whole family sort of making um, in a small sort of very, I don't know, how can I call it, intimate kind of vibe. Because the source was talking to me about my grandmother in Jamaica in a place called Clarendon where we are from. And ever since I was a little nine-year-old boy, she taught me the secret of music sources and herbs and spices. So it was a bit, you know, emotional to see things done in like, you know, massive vats and everything like that, and knowing that I started in my kitchen at home. But I knew it was the best thing for the sauce. But I didn't know it would be the best thing when I got offered to go on the job and say, because my kids say to me, Daddy, don't go. Because they knew what the job and say entails, and I didn't. And I think that helped me, because I, then again, I think that Maybe if I'd known what the dragon's den was, I wouldn't have actually been as brave as I, as I was to go and sing some song about a song. 
I, I suppose when the Japanese saw me coming up the stairs with my guitar singing my crazy song, they told me that I'm a weak madman just coming to tell him that he's Bob Marley or something. <laughs> but it did the trick. Because as you know, music calms the soul. It's one thing that speaks the language universal is music. Um, and whenever you're at home when you feel sad or you worry about something, you put on a bit of music. And it always changes the mood. And I think my song kind of changed those dirty dragons from being dragons to little pussy cat. That by the time I was finished with them, I played three dragons. And now I have two pet dragons walking around with me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>